hello guys and welcome to my channel my name is Kashara welcome if you're new hello if you are a lovely subscriber thank you so much for watching and tuning in again um yeah so I don't know if you've been noticing obviously most probably not because I'm like nobody on YouTube but I have like I haven't been on here as much you know obviously I made like two weeks ago I had a, the sister tag video but I haven't before that like I haven't really been active that much and it's because I've just been having like things going on in my life and yeah so I thought that I would give you like a life update and plus obviously you can see by the title of this video I'm just giving you um just like making you aware of a few things that I've noticed sorry my hair's getting away a few things that I've noticed um that happens when you neglect a relationship with God um, your relationship with God, not a relationship with God, your relationship with God. In another video, I'll talk about how you can like build upon your relationship with God. Um, lately, my relationship with God hasn't been all the way like there. And you know, like in life, life happens as like Christians, our relationship with God can become stale, like no relationship. So, number one, if you feel like living with no purpose, I found that when I've neglected my relationship with God before, I've noticed that I felt like I've had no purpose, like felt like I've had like no value like, you start looking outwardly on things that are not to do with God and you start thinking about things and doing things that are just like it's not really relevant another thing you just like I said before you become discouraged like what's my purpose like I feel so down like, I feel so down in the dumps like what is life and you just become so like inwardly focused but it's in another way it's like it's good to feel in it's good to be inwardly focused because obviously you can see like the things that you're going wrong what's going wrong with relationship with god and you start looking at yourself and be like okay i need to change this i need to repent about this i need to humble myself about this because you can see like your flaws in a way like you can see like okay i'm going wrong in this and you start looking at yourself you start becoming really discouraged and everything you see around you is just like not helping so you just like I found myself that I've had like to back away like from social media I have to like proper like take my time away because when I become discouraged like I don't want to be looking at social media like, it just becomes like a fuel for to add on to discouragement so yeah if you're feeling discouraged and take yourself away from social media another one is feeling distant and no connection start feeling getting still in your relationship with God we need to remember that it's not God that takes himself away from us it's me that take away yourself from God, it's all a mindset. Yeah, God never leaves us and then we start to feel like, oh, God doesn't love us. And it's like, no, God does love us. It's us that we've pulled ourselves away from God. We start feeling unloved, etc. We start feeling like, oh gosh, God doesn't love me. And we haven't realized that that is, you know, it's us because we've taken ourselves back because we have to stop doing the things that to maintain a relationship with God. And I'm not saying that to maintain a relationship with God is all works, but yes, there is works involved. And I have realized that it's not just like, okay, yeah, God loves me and that's it don't do nothing you know we just walk about in our Christian life not doing anything no we have to do stuff and um, yeah next one we start counting our flaws when we're away from God like it's crazy right because as humans we put our sometimes we put our validation our assistance into other people into other humans when really we should be putting it into God like and I'm not because you know people think oh but we shouldn't put it in, in anyone but no it's fine it's totally fine to put our identity our knowledge our existence into God because God is the one that created us yes he has made us all individuals individuals will have our individual personalities God has made us we are his workmanship so I that lives but Christ lives in us so as we start to distance ourselves from our creator we notice that our flaws are heightened because when we're so wrapped up in God we don't we don't really notice it as much like hey I'm not doing this right okay I don't feel good enough but what does the Bible say Kashara and then you know when we're in a relationship with God we start to it's not saying that when we're in a relationship with God we don't have these sort of things because we do but when we're in a relationship with God when we're in fellowship with God then we can like okay I'm feeling this way so let me go and check out what the Bible says and then obviously when we check out the Bible says okay okay God you say this so I'm gonna believe this and we will pray and then like it just goes and I'm not saying it goes 100% but it goes we don't focus on it so much because God is our strength like God speaks to us God is helping us God is renewing our minds next one is no me no momentum so obviously when we stop doing the things to maintain relationship with God we, we become stagnant nothing's flowing nothing's you know moving or anything like that and sometimes it's not our own fault it's just like life happens but sometimes it is when I've like neglected relationship with God sometimes you feel like oh gosh nothing's happening what is life you know but once you start coming to communion with God, it's totally, you know, you start seeing momentum. Another one, lastly, I'm sure there's more, but 
this is just what I've come up with and like there's no sense of urgency there's no once you become stagnant in relationship with God obviously like there's one part of you that wants to go back into communion with God and you know just let it flow fellow you know flow fellowship <laughs> do you get it fellow flow okay anyways yeah so there's like no there's no urgency like one part there is an urgency and the other part there's not an urgency like to get in fellowship with god so you're just like yes i know i need to get back in fellowship with god and there's no and on the other hand there's no urgency there's no because maybe there's no urgency because you're still like in that mindset of like god doesn't love me i have no purpose like what is life and you just start blaming yourself even though obviously sometimes we are part to blame because you know but sometimes you start like looking at yourself and you're just like oh my gosh like god doesn't love me like and i'm just like oh no i can't go back into fellowship with god but that is another way hopefully this video has helped you blessed you in some sort of way i really hope so if you if it has let me know in the comments below comment guys i like talking to you guys you know like hit the like button to let me know that you liked it because that is like encouraging if you want to be nice like my last video if you want to bring good vibes bring cat person you know thumbs up the button gosh i'm trying to get back into the flow of things but i had to take like a break guys and I'm, if if my relationship with God is not like 100% then I don't want to be making videos about God so like what's, that's not going to be of help to anyone because if I myself is not watered then how am I meant to water others you know what I mean yeah so guys I thank you so much for watching this video thank you guys so much for sticking around thank you guys thank you for um to you who have newly subscribed to me I really appreciate it so thank you guys so much for watching this video so guys see you in my next video guys bye